travel friends. Today we're going to be talking about the biggest surprises about Paris. So jumping right in, I will, I will start with the pharmacias. So I had no idea. Pharmacias in France are not necessarily what we Americans call a pharmacy where it's just medicine. They're full of beauty products. I think what's really cool is when you go into these pharmacias, they actually have beauticians there to help you with all your skincare needs. I will caveat, it is typically face care. So face wash, any of like retinols, lotions, potions you put on your face, eye cream, that is what is going to primarily be there, not necessarily makeup. So be aware of that. This is really gonna be all about skincare. Yeah. And let me tell you, it was amazing. It's top tier French beauty products at a very reasonable price and stock up because some of these products cost double just in the US. And it's also a great place to get souvenirs and gifts for family, friends, girlfriends, etc. Hands down, my biggest surprise was the, the pharmacias and I had no idea that I was going to buy that many products and still wish I had bought more. Okay, uh, second biggest surprise in Paris is the French onion soup. Before I went there and ate French onion soup in France, I was not, I did not think highly of French onion soup or onion soup, right? Like I, I did not think highly of the onion. I had no idea why anyone would try to turn it into a soup. And I would, I had no idea why any such soup would be so popular and, and esteemed, right? Um, but, but, oh my God, like, I, I, it blows my mind every single time I visit Paris about how good the French onion soup is. It just blows my mind. The French are just very, very good at transforming ingredients and what they do to the onion for this soup in combination with like the butter and the cheese and everything, it, it is absolutely phenomenal. And it, it just like, it just surprises me every time. And nowadays, you know, when I go there, I know that I'm gonna get really amazing French onion soup. But then like on my first bite, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I, it, I, I'm still just like totally overwhelmed. Uh, uh, definitely, you know, do your research and try to find a place that makes good ones. Um, usually a good one will cost you between 10 to like 15 euros. Um, so you can just look at whatever conversion that is to dollars. But you know, you can eat it as an entire meal. You can eat it as like an appetizer. Uh, you, you, just, you just have to try it out, right? It's, it's, it's one of the quintessential soups of the world. Following along the lines of food surprises, our next, I would say very, very big surprise, are the cheese shops in Paris. It's one of those places where you can go in and there is a cheesemonger, they're ready to help you with all your cheese needs. So what we did when we went was I actually researched ahead of time the most popular, the most uh, unique French cheeses. So I had a list on my phone and I was like, we need these. And she was just like, oh, you maybe, maybe you don't want this or maybe you, oh, this is a really good choice or something. They're very open to helping you. And, and I think they're very, very used to tourists who don't really mm -hmm. speak French. We just let her know that we wanted our own charcuterie plate. And so she cut it accordingly. It was also just very affordable. They're very um, accessible. They're right. not intimidating. Right. And it's really a fun experience. Yeah, yeah it, it's a very unique experience. And again, very, very approachable, mm -hmm. right? So like if you're just kind of like a little nervous about, I don't really know cheeses or I don't really know French, uh, you know, like they will they will help you so so don't let that deter you from 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 trying a, a, a very essential part of french culture right jesus yeah. yeah so continuing on with essential french culture and foods i am going to jump into wine french wine affordable delicious 
It's everywhere. You can get house wine when you're dining for lunch or dinner. You can get a great selection and bottle at your local co-op, your grocery store. But you can also go into an actual wine shop. And that's, again, where you're going to get some real personalized help. Uh, we figured out that we love a Bougely wine. And so it was a lot easier for us to figure that out by going into a wine shop. We're very much more casual wine drinkers and very much wine novices it, it's just very easy to explore wine there mm. it's like everything's just a lot cheaper so it's it's just a very easy place to explore wine mm -hmm. right? So our next uh, biggest surprise as well was just wandering the streets and perusing the stores the amount of stores that we went into but did not purchase, mind boggling. I mean, one, it is so much fun. All of the stores are just cute boutiques. There's uh, vintage clothing. There's these brands that we just don't have access to here. So it's very fun to just take the time and peruse. You know, it's just very easy to shop or not shop, but you know, wandering around and it's just a great way to enjoy, enjoy mm -hmm. the city. Last but not least, our oh. final tip, Jimmy. Okay, um, all right. Our last biggest surprise, and I think this might surprise a lot of people to hear, is that uh, it's actually very, very easy to travel to Paris and enjoy Paris without knowing much French. We recommend learning a few basic words, like bonjour, au revoir, but really the amount of English that is spoken in French I, I, or in Paris has, I think, like exponentially has gone mm -hmm. up. I think the younger generation are more familiar uh, with the language now. And then, you know, I think uh, a lot of the, the touristy areas um, in Paris, as well as in most of Europe, you know, it's like they hire young people who speak English, right? Who can help the, the tourists who are not very good at, at French. So the reputation of French people, you know, being mean or something like, I, I think that's that's in the past. I think mm -hmm. the, the, the present is, everyone's really nice. And then, and also I think you'll find a lot of people who are working, you know, in these tourist areas, they're very excited to test their English on you. Mm. Right? Like, like they are, you know, they're, they're very excited to get better at English mm -hmm. and, and try um, to speak English. So um, yeah, I, I, I think that I think that will surprise a lot of people is about how how easy it is to to go there to travel to communicate and and really enjoy uh, the Parisian experience. All right, well, those are our biggest surprises about Paris. Uh, hopefully, you will be surprised when you encounter these things or more prepared. Yeah. And uh, if you like and subscribe if you uh, want to support us, and then also, uh, you know, tell us your biggest surprises uh, when you travel to Paris um, in the comments, and, and hopefully, we'll they'll be new to us and we'll check them out, and that'll be that'll be awesome. All right, till next time. Happy travels.